and each week we talk with the head coach. It's Brian Callahan. We call it Callie's Corner, and it's presented by SeatGeek. The Titans gave up seven plays of 20 yards or longer in the game against the Packers. Six of those were in the first half. What led to the increase in explosive plays by the opposition? You know, I think they hit a couple of nice plays. I mean, the first play of the game was, you know, we were they were pretty dialed in to, to go knocking the run out, and it was a nice run action, that, and they had a guy slide out the back door, and um, just good play. We, we, weren't, we weren't assigned fully right obviously that's how explosives get given up but the ones that are the hard ones are the are, are the third and long explosives that get first downs where you essentially have a team off the field and and they they gain a first down on an explosive play when it's third and 15 you, those are the ones that are kind of critical and killer and that that's where i was uh, explosive plays happen but those ones in particular were, were just tough to tough to stomach when we're, we're trying to climb back in the game. So Ernest Jones led the team with 13 tackles. Kenneth Murray had eight tackles and two sacks. Are you pleased overall with the play of your linebackers? Yeah, I think it's a group that, um, you know, we had to re remake in a sense. You know, we had to we had to go get two linebackers. And I think Jack's done a nice job, too. But Ernest has really stepped up and played really well. That group was one that we had maybe some question marks going into the season. And, and thus far, they have answered the the bell and really played pretty well for us, I think, um, both in the run and the pass coverage. DeAndre Hopkins' performance, was that the biggest positive to come out of Sunday's game, for the offense at least? He did a nice job. I mean, we needed a, we needed his help in that game. We needed him to make some plays, and uh, he did. And he looked like the Hopkins that, that everybody knows and uh, loves around here and what he's done for his whole career. He's He's got a knack for getting open, even at his, at his years in the league. He just knows how to do it. And he's a very, very, very strong catcher of the football. And so in those contested plays, like on the touchdown, he goes and grabs the ball and makes play. And that's what we need more of. We need more guys to make more plays um, like that. So like last week, you're not going to know who the opponent's quarterback is going into all of your prep. What's a little different, though, is with the Dolphins and kind of their mix of guys, they could change a lot of what they do offensively based on who they decide to put in that spot. Is that concerning? I mean, it's always concerning, yeah. It's, it's just an element of, of what it is in the NFL right now. And I think uh, Mike is as an excellent offensive football coach. He knows how to put his players in great positions. And whatever quarterback we have, you know, is going to be put in those advantageous spots as best they can they're going to help the quarterback every which way is possible and they we have to be able to play with our rules we have to make sure we're tackling sound make sure we're sound in every which way we are because they're already a difficult scheme to go against they just they do a really nice job and they got good players on the perimeter and so they'll put the quarterback in spots to be successful another week and another great corner this time it's Jalen Ramsey what kind of a challenge does he pose to your entire passing game he's able to take away receivers and that's what these these corners do and they find ways um, to to eliminate half of the field when they can and you know we played against Jalen before and uh, he's fantastic. He's as good. He's as good as they come. I mean, we just we go from Jalen Johnson to Sauce Gardner to Jair Alexander to Jalen Ramsey, and so the, the the hits just keep on coming. I mean, there's a, every team's got good corners, and we happen to be playing against defenses that are really good defenses, and a large part of that is because of the type of corners that they have, and they make life really hard offensively. So we got to work cut out for us. For more of our conversation with Brian Callahan, we invite you to enjoy the OTP. You can watch the OTP on the Titans YouTube channel or at TennesseeTitans.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the OTP wherever you get your podcasts. There is only one official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. Stay tuned. More Titans All Access right after this.